Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how we can get started with ASP.NET Core and React.js. We will look at downloading and installing the necessary components to get us started. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So React.js is a JavaScript library for building a user interfaces. It is used to build a single page applications and also allows to create reusable UI components. And of course, um, ASP.NET Core is a cross-platform, high-performance, open-source framework for building modern cloud-enabled internet-connected services. So with the ASP.NET Core, you can build web apps and services, Internet of Things, IoT, apps, and mobile apps we have mobile backends. Yeah, so enough of all of that. So to get us started, please make sure that you open a Visual Studio installer. Yeah, so as you can see on the screen, I've got a Visual Studio installer open. I'm using the Visual Studio 2022. So we click on the modifier. So here, you have to make sure that you've got the, this um, ASP, ASP.NET and web development box checked. So this will actually help you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, and standard-based web technologies, including HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and JSON. It also includes tools for content, containerizing your applications, including Docker supports, yeah? And you gotta make sure, also make sure that you have um, the Node.js development installed as well. So you gotta make sure that you have this box checked as well, okay? So once you are, you're done with that bit here, then we, we can close um, the Visual Studio installer. Then let's open a browser. So once we have a browser, let's Google um, Node.js, yeah? So the first bit is a uh, Node.js, dot org here so we click on the first result so this will actually take you to this place here so <clears throat> based on what system you're using and you can you can download and install the, the node.js so in my case here i'm using windows so you can click on the, the recommended for most users bit, or you can use the, the current node.js yeah it doesn't really matter yeah but i suggest you use the first bit okay so once you're done with that bit, yeah, then obviously you can close the, the web browser. So we come inside, uh, I've opened the Visual Studio, so let's open a new, let's start a new project, okay? So here, obviously we can select, I mean, we can scroll down. If you've downloaded and installed uh, the components, you, should, you will be able to see ASP.NET Core with React.js. Okay, so this is uh, a project template for creating an ASP.NET Core application with React.js. Yeah, so we, we select this and we click on the next. So here, obviously, we'll be taken into the project configuration. So we can configure, like, we can do the project configuration, like uh, the project name, the project location, and uh, the solution where you want to put, whether you want to create a new solution or you want to. You want to add you want to add this to a new solution i mean to a solution so we're going to leave it after this here <clears throat> and obviously you can also change the solution name as well if you want to so we click on the next so here obviously you can select the, the framework that the dotnet framework that you want to use so we leave it after this here so it's a dotnet 7.0 this is the standard term support like this has got standard term support so the the bunch of um uh .NET frameworks that you can use here once you, you click on the drop down and obviously you can select the authentication type here yeah? so here you can select um we're going to select the individual accounts here yeah? and do not use top level statements so this is this is whether to generate an explicit program class and main method instead of top level statement so we're just gonna leave, um, leave you after this here okay and we click on the create so this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing creates. 
So as you can see here now, we've actually got a new project created for us yet. So if we look here, it's still being created. So but we're going to have a look quickly at what we've got in here. So first of all, let's look at um, the client app here. So this contains um, <coughs> our React client application. Yeah. So the first is the public bit. The public bit contains the, the index.html, uh, the manifest.json, and the, the fave icon there. Yeah? And the source contains um, your React source, like the app.js and the app routes and whatnot, yeah? So we're not going to look too much into this. As this just to get us started, okay? So we're just going to... Um, Go, we're going to the controllers here. So since we, we're using the ASP.NET Core and ReactJS here, we've also got controllers. So we've got IODC configuration controller. Let's click on it here. So this is basically um, this, this is the web API. Yeah. And then we've got um, a weather forecast controller. So this is just to, to present a weather forecast DL. So if we look at it here, as, you can, as we can see, yeah, it's authorized. So it's basically for authorized users only. Yeah. So once we run it, we will see what, how, it's, how it, it all comes together. Okay. So let's close that. Let's go to the data. So basically, we've got um, a data set. Yeah. We've got um, the application DB contest. Yeah. So this actually inherits from the API authorization DB contest, which is and inside it is the application user, yeah. So this is this is more of like a, let's let's go into the model. So this is the application user. So this is what it's actually referencing, yeah. So let's click on the application user. So as you can see, it's nothing. There's nothing in here. It actually inherits from the identity user. We will have a look at this later on on our next video, okay? So let's look at the, the pages. So let's look at the shared. So we've got a login partial, and uh, we, we've got we've got literally got nothing like in terms of the pages. As we've got every, we've got it, everything inside our client app here. Okay. So what we do next is actually run the project to see what actually happens. Yeah. So as we're running it for the first time, so it might take a while. So I'm just going to pause it while the whole thing runs. But while it's running here, I'm just going to show you something quickly. So let's click on the, the program.cs. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of com configurations here. So we've got um, our connection string, so which is actually referencing the default connections. Yeah. So you can find your default connections inside the um, appsetting.json. Yeah. So let's click on that. So as you can see here, we've got these connection strings and we've got default uh default connection so you can whatever server that you use in here you can you can do your server configuration here and issue works fine yeah so basically you can you can put your connect you can put your connection string here yeah and we've got um, a bunch of stuff here which we're not going to look at okay so what i'm going to do is pause the video for the for the application to run so basically, if you have got your node, your node.js um, installed here, yeah, you should get this here. Yeah. But you have to make sure that you install node.js before you actually run the application, OK? Yeah, so this is basically the, the node command here. Yeah. It will do a bunch of things before the whole thing starts here. Yeah. So if you look at it here, so we've got the launch and the SPA proxy here. Yeah. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video. So yeah, I'm not even pausing. So as you can see here now, we've got the application run. So if we open the this here, we've got this here. So the application is on this um, URI, okay? And this is the network that is actually using it, okay? So I'm just going to minimize it, okay? So here, we've got a bunch of things. So if we look at it, if you click on here, so as you can see, so it just says processing login because the, um, like I said earlier on, it's actually authorized, so you need to log in before you can you can you can get the fetch data or you can get this bit here. So you can click on the register. So 
It might take a while. So as you can see here now, so this is the register page, okay? So you can add your email, you can enter your email and password and confirm your password. And you register and then you log in and you'll be able to, if we come back here, you'll be able to get the, the fetch data, yeah? So I'm going to leave the video here. Yeah, and on my next video, we will, we will build it from scratch and we'll have a look at the whole things, yeah? Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning afternoon, even wherever you are. Peace.